This week on BGTV, we have Gianna covering TAP's new gym equipment. Next, we have Nick with Senior Meets, have Emma with Special Olympics, and Michael with Red Ribbon Week. And lastly, we have Joe with The Flow. This is BGTV. Hello, and welcome to BGTV News. I'm your host, Kira Dillon. And I'm your host, Elena Keith. And, and you're, you're watching BGTV. BGTV. Now going over to Taft Elementary to check out their new gym equipment. Hi, I'm Gianna, and I'm here at Taft Elementary School for the recognition ceremony for the new equipment Taft was granted last year. Let's go take a look. When did you get your new gym equipment and how has this impacted the students at Tech? The new gym equipment was installed this summer after we won the grant in the month of February. Uh, we've been using it since we were trained in September, so we've only been using it for about a month now. Um, it's going to take a year or so to see how it's truly impacted the kids' physical conditions, but it's definitely increased the incentive and the desire to work out. I think their overall fitness level is going to improve. We actually um, have to report pre-tests and post-tests. My favorite piece of, the, of equipment is the step-up station because it can make faster. I like the parallel bars because it's fun and it makes me stronger. Department is thrilled to be able to offer the Project Fit program to our student body. In addition to the awesome fitness equipment that you see here, we have been provided with a broad-based core curriculum that focuses on physical movement, along with character building, sportsmanship, and the social and emotional leadership development of all of our students. Well, that's all the fun we have for you today, Wizards. I want to go use the new equipment with my new friends. Bye! Wow, that's so cool. I'm so happy for them. This week, Nick is covering all senior meets and games. Hey Wizards, it's Nick Marecki here with Wizard Sports. In the past couple of weeks, there have been quite a few senior meets and games. Here's the recap. Boys soccer won their game 2-0 against VC, and girls soccer won 6-0 against Middletown. Both games made it to sections and had heartbreaking losses in their first games. Great season, Wizards. Boys and girls cross country both unfortunately lost to Warwick. Their next meet will be sections on November 6th at Bear Mountain. Girls swimming won against Warwick with Seward 99-78. Their next meet will be a section meet at VC on November 7th. Volleyball beat Chester three sets to one after an intense win on their senior night against Middletown. Their next game will be on November 2nd at 5 o'clock. The location has yet to be determined. The football team was beaten by Pine Bush in the homecoming game, but bounced back to beat Monroe 23-20 to edge their way into sections. Their first sections game will be on November 2nd at 7 p.m. against Pine Bush at Middletown. Now, let's take a closer look at the senior games and meets of the fall season. How does it feel that next year when you race on this course you're going to be a senior? It's honestly really sad just how fast the past three years went and next year it's already going to be my last year. What's your favorite part about cross country? Uh, definitely camaraderie that I got to build with my teammates. You know, I, I've become great friends with these guys over the four years that I've done it. I'd say definitely team building as well. I just love that we've become a family throughout the months. Uh, I'd agree with both of them, and I also just really like traveling, like for long meets and staying away at like Carlisle and stuff. Favorite mo mo moments are last year, um, I saved two penalties in consecutive games, I believe. My favorite moment was ever since uh, seventh grade, I wanted to score a header, and I finally did it this season. <laughs> How are you guys feeling about this being your last home game in the season, senior game? I'm feeling really sad, you know. Played here for four years on this field, and today it's coming to an end. What about you? 
Um, yeah, it's pretty sad. I didn't play a lot, but um, I'm going to miss the girls, and I can't believe this is our last game. This is Nick Marecki signing off. I'll catch you on the flip side. I can't believe seasons are like starting to end. It's crazy. I know. You know what that means? Winter <laughs> athletes, make sure you're updated family ID. Welcome to the B show. Come to our breakfast burrito. Women fun is amazing and wonderful. The younger puppet are Elliot and Kathy. Attention all winter athletes. Physicals will be available every Friday for 9th and 11th graders. First come, first serve. Want to visit Munich, Vienna, or Budapest? November 7th in the cafeteria at 7.30, there'll be an informational meeting. All applications for Math Honor Society are due November 22nd in Mr. Brown's office. See him in room 322 if you have any questions. Anyone interested in joining World Quest? They meet Wednesdays at 3 o'clock in room 232 until November 6th. All are welcome. Need help with a writing assignment? The Writing Center meets Tuesdays after school in room 122. Do you want to share your favorite movie, book, or song? Join Beyond the Book. They meet every Tuesday in room 125 after school. Attention, Attention underclassmen. underclassmen. Don't like your school picture? Retakes are Monday, November 4th. Sign-up sheets can be found in the main office. Yearbooks are for sale at the website johnstons.com. Now we have Emma with Special Olympics. Hey Wizards, Emma Green here from BGTV. Let's go see what's happening with Special Olympics. The Special Olympics motto is, um, please let me win, but if I cannot win, please let me be brave in my attempt. And I think that just watching our students, all of the students in our school on a daily basis, are always brave in their attempts to be better people and, and make the world a better place. What's your favorite thing about Special Olympics? A favorite thing, I like passing the ball, and then the circle, and then walk. It's great, I love it. Running. Uh, showing, showing the ball. How long have you been doing Special Olympics for? This is actually um, my second year with Special Olympics since I've been here at the high school. I've been teaching for 18 years, but this program is relatively new for me. What makes Special Olympics so special? Well, I think it's uh, incredibly special because it allows all the students in our school community to get together, to get to know one another. Um, we are able to let our students demonstrate their skills and their talents, and it really um, creates more of a sense of our wizard family. There you have it, wizards. Special Olympics is just that much fun. Come join us and see you next time. Emma Green signing off. That's so cute. I know. Now we have Michael with Red Ribbon Week. Hey Wizards, this is Michael Carey reporting for this year's annual Red Ribbon Week. Let's see what they're doing this week at Taft Elementary. I think that Red Ribbon Week is important for students so they can understand what it means to have a healthy lifestyle and to not introduce drugs into their lifestyle because that is unhealthy. I'm looking forward to um, um, tomorrow for a pajama day. I'm also looking forward to the pajama day because I think it's really fun and you get to like I think my pajamas are really comfy, so like I get to stay comfy all day. 
So what's your favorite day of Red Ribbon Week? I mean like pajama day, I think it's pajama day because I just get to wear my pajamas all day, it's so comfy. That's all I have this week for you wizards. Michael Carey signing off from Taft Elementary. This just in, there will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, November 12th regarding the spring break trip to Hawaii. If interested, please report to room 103 at 7 o'clock p.m. See Mr. Land for any details. Hello my friends, my name is Joe, and uh, I thank you for joining us on another installment of Joe with the Flow, where today we are going to be uh, interviewing some of our loyal students in the high school cafeterias, asking about their preferences, palates, and tastes. So, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, join me, come on, come on. I understand we're in the cafeteria. Me too. Food all around. What's your favorite kind? Of, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Um, probably have to be peanut butter jelly, but like strawberry jelly. Time food. Pasta. Or rice. I'm good at boiling water too, you know. Yeah. My favorite food is Joe's marshmallows. A little background to that, I made marshmallows one week. Slice. <laughs> Slice of life with Joe. What food do you kind of really hate? Like escargot? Hate? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Do you, I don't know, maybe you don't like fish. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. I don't like fish that much. I just don't like A mind reader I am. Well, I like everything, so like, there's no use here food. You're holding back on me, Tony. Am I? I'm holding back. So? Tell us the secrets. What secrets? What, what food don't you like, Tony? I don't like. <laughs> I don't know what I like. <laughs> what? I didn't ask what you liked. I asked what you don't like, Tony. I don't know what I like. Uh, I don't like peanut butter. Anything peanut. I'm not, I'm not with it. Tomatoes. Onion and tomato. Onion. Yeah. Are you guys like the same person? I'm a big fan of breakfast. A big fan of breakfast any time of the day. For lunch or for dinner, or you know, some eggs, maybe an omelet, some home fries, a little toast on the side. Coffee, definitely coffee. I don't think anyone but me eats grilled octopus. I love it. You mean like coffee? I do. But I would love to experiment a lot more, but I'd like to get more input from the students. I think that'd be a pretty good idea to have a BGTV, anybody interested? Hey, advertising. Give me a call. Hey, come on. <laughs> like... Oh, hey. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Joe with the Flow. Uh, today we talked to people about food, culinary. We got real culinary today. So uh, tune in next time. When we take it to, uh, we catch a matinee, go to the theater, and uh, we interview Mask and Mime, see what they're up to. So uh, I'll catch you then. Joe with the Flow. That's all we have for you this week, wizards. Be sure to check out our weekly newsletter and podcasts. I'm Alana Keith. And I'm Kira Dillon. Thanks, Thanks for watching this week's episode of BGTV. BGTV.